In our continuing coverage tonight, Freed Hardeman University cancels Bill Cosby's appearance at its annual fundraiser benefit. The university first announced it was keeping things as scheduled despite rape allegations against the famous comedian. Now, as WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brian Carnaggio reports, the decision comes with mixed reaction. Brian? Freed Hardeman announces in a statement today Cosby will no longer be a guest speaker at its 50th annual benefit dinner. This after allegations of sexual assault against the 77 year old continue to surface. I think if that's the way they feel, that's fine. But I think that you're innocent until you're proven guilty. Local residents react to the latest decision by Freed Hardeman University to no longer have Bill Cosby appear at its benefit dinner after allegations of drug induced rape against women began to swarm around the famous comedian and actor. I think they waited too long to come forth. Why didn't they do it sooner? You know, that's the way I think about it. Why, why wait so long? Freed Hardeman President Joe Wiley in a statement Wednesday said in part, quote, We know that names we have seen in the media represent real people who will be affected long after FHU's dinner has passed, end quote. If you're down to crime, I mean, that's something happens, you know. Um, but I think he's just been able to come. I mean, that's the past. According to the university, Cosby's replacement will be Dr. Ben Carson, who's a prospective Republican presidential hopeful. Some local residents believe the university acted appropriately. I hope that Cosby get what he needs out of the deal. And I don't think he should be able to go to these places and stand up anymore and talk. Other residents say they cannot come to grips with the allegations, especially after Cosby was a staple in their household for so many years. You know, for him to be on a family show like he was, and it's just, it's just weird, you know, I didn't see it coming. In Henderson, Brian Carnaggio, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. President Wiley says more than 90% of their students receive financial aid. This event goes towards scholarships.